Let's give it a spin. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we're going to be reviewing a, a Vivor Electric Honey Extractor. Now, I don't know what it looks like. I've not opened the box yet. We're going to do that together. But Vivor was kind enough to send this sample out to me so that I can use it and review it and share it with you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use it, review it, and share it with you. Let's get into it and see what it looks like. All right, all right, all right. We'll set it on the floor and then we'll, we'll break it out and set it up here a piece at a time. Much easier for you to see that way. Okay, what do we have here? We have, we have what looks like a honey gate. Okay, and uh, the user manual and a bunch of components. I think that won't be too tough to put together. Let's take a look here. Okay, All right here are the legs. We have three legs. Okay, and here it is, a nice stainless steel tank, and that would be it, all right. All right, what do we have here? Let's take a look, again this is, this is Vivor. Okay, overall, the outside of this thing looks nice, no dents, very clean, no sharp edges, very well put together, okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What do we have down in here? Oh, we have a, we have a lid or two. Let's go ahead and now put this together. These are all the legs. Now, this is not for commercial use. This is for the home beekeeper. And so far, what I've seen just by looking at it, for the home beekeeper, this would not be a bad setup here these legs are appear to be light gauge stainless steel maybe okay. and they're not too stout but again this is this is for the home beekeeper I think this is uh, I think it's adequate let's have a look here I'm gonna lay it on its side before I do that let me put a towel down my bench this is stain all over my bench okay we're gonna lay it on its side so we can put the legs on we're not even gonna unwrap the motor yet there we go Right, let's see here, leg number one. It looks like we've got two positions. Short or high, I'm gonna go short. That will give it more stability when it's, uh, when it's actually running. Let's dump all of our metal pieces into here. See what we can see. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't put this together. There's our honey gate, put that on last. Not sure what that little red thing is, but I'm sure it's important. One, two, three, four, five, six, three legs, two each, okay. We have washers, we have six of these. So I'm gonna give it one washer per. One washer per nut, per bolt. Go. One thing I do not see on here that I would like to see are lock washers, but yeah, maybe I don't need lock washers. Just that's personal preference. That's not a not a slam on Vivor. I'm sure it's going to be just fine without them. Let's uh, put the first leg on. So this is a 10 millimeter socket. One, two, three. That's snug. One, two. That's snug. So far it goes, to, it goes together very easy. Not much to assemble here. Okay, I just saw something on the bottom while I'm screwing this in that I like very much. I'll share it with you in a second. There we go. Okay, having to do that answered two questions. One, I know what this is. It's a replacement nylon grommet for in there, so I would do not lose this. Don't lose it, You're, you may need it someday. Problem is, you're gonna have to keep up with where you put it. Not V4's problem, this be your problem. Keep up with it. Okay, now I should be able to reach my hand in there. Beautiful, we're in good shape. 
That was easy enough. Perfect. Now, let's set her down. She seems stable. The honey gate is nice. Now we have to put the lid on it and then we'll give it a spin. Now you're going to have to forgive me. I'm going to have to put my glasses on for doing this because they're small screws and I've got old eyeballs. But, okay, two plexiglass lids. Um, so you might get some glare from the, from the lights here. I apologize in advance if you do. I like it. It's got that new spinner smell. All right. I'll show you all the switches and knobs and buttons here in a minute. Let me, uh, let me get these on. All right. We're installed. Now let's see if I can find some place where I can plug this in and show you how it works. All right, here's the honey gate. We'll start simple. We'll start down here in the bottom and work our way up. Oh, speaking of the bottom, there's something I want to show you here. Honey gate works just like any other honey gate. I'm sure it's going to be A-OK. -okay. Let me show you this really quick. This has a conical bottom on it, which is fantastic. All the honey in the middle is going to roll down to the edges and then come out your honey gate. That is fantastic. That is not something that I was expecting on this model. But we've got it. All right, let me plug it in and we're going to get up on the bench. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're talking about here. This is a 140 watt, 110 volt motor. This uses 1.6 amp, and I think this thing is going to run pretty strong. Let's turn it on. Or let's run it without some frames here really quick. Let's just see how bad it shakes. Okay, we're at 20 percent, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80 90. Okay, we're running this thing at 100%, and the bench that I'm on is not even budging. I mean, maybe just a little wobble, nothing bad at all. This thing is quiet and it's smooth. Let's, uh, let's throw a couple of frames in there and see how it does. Let's try with large frames. One there. there. We're going to go ahead and close the lid, you know, safety first. And let's give it a spin. Okay, when, now when there's frames in there, there's a little wobble. That's to be expected. It's still quiet. It doesn't seem to have any trouble at all. Okay, this will hold two frames. Either two deeps or two mediums. So there it is with two mediums. Okay. So that's not bad. Again, for the for the home beekeeper, this is certainly better than a manual hand crank spinner. All right, well, there you go, the Vivor two frame electric honey extractor. And in my opinion, this is not a bad honey extractor for the money. I mean, this is $198, and this makes it so that you don't have to do the crush and strain method anymore, and you don't have to use a hand crank spinner. It's got a powerful motor, a stainless steel tub, a conical shaped bottom so that the honey's gonna flow out through the honey gate. It is not a bad deal. Now, Vivor has given me a code that I can share with you that will allow you to save 5% on this thing. So if you would like to purchase this, it's $198. You can find the link in the description below and use the offer code VIVORSALE5, that's V-E-V-O-R-S-A-L-E, -E, the number 5, VIVORSALE5 at checkout to save 5%. So there you go, there you have it, the Vivor 2-Frame Electric Honey Extractor. Not a bad deal at all. I hope it's something that can help you out, and, and I, I want to thank Vivor again for allowing me to share this with you. It's uh, it is a decent piece of equipment to add to your beekeeping arsenal. So with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun and sometimes we explore new things and new ideas and, and this is one of those days. So with all that said, be happy and I will see you next week. Take care.